What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 24 of our Blind Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are moving on to, I believe, Memorial Hill here. Uh, yes, Memorial Hill, uh, as per direction by Olivia, and... Oh, no. Oh, God, it's gonna be so sad. I cry every time. The trainer over there... What? There's a heal powder there, which... And I'm stealing from people's graves. I don't like that. This is just so sad. This is a trainer, too. Why is everyone here looking to fight? Everyone here just wants just wants a battle, but what if someone's here crying over the, their lost ones? Some people take... I mean, a lot of people have Pokemon that, that they're, it's like family to them, you know? This guy's got an Umbreon. Next level. Umbreon goes down with that supreme bulk. Uh, actually took longer than anticipated. But good amount of EXP for the whole team. Uh, wants to learn ingrain, but I'm not gonna do that. And a lot of a lot of money. Oh heck yeah! Trumpeak's evolving. Let's see. Let's see. Show me. Okay, so I'm thinking it's got a long beak. Maybe it goes longer. Maybe it's like Fero with the overly long beak. But I'm thinking like really broad wings, crazy broad wings, mid-flight animation. <gasps> Oh my god, it's a toucan! Ah, toucanon! That is the coolest! Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if Pokemon is the reason I love puns so much. I love puns. I love puns, and I'm wondering, because toucanon? That is too good. Picky Pack becomes Trung Beak becomes toucanon. Toucanon is such a cool name. What's he got to say? Within its beak, its internal gas ignites, explosively launching seeds with enough power to pulverize boulders. So, maybe it learns bullet seed. Beak blast. Oh my god. Make my day. What is this move? I'm so happy. What an awesome way to start this episode. A hundred base power. The user first heats up its beak, and then it attacks the target, making direct contact with the Pokemon while... With the Pokemon while it's heating up its beak results in a burn. Oh, so it's a two-turn move? So, turn one, charge, and if someone hits me while I'm charging, it burns them. I feel like the power should be stronger than 100 if that's the case. Uh, I'll probably still learn it. Wait, no, did I just skip it? Well, sh I, guess, I guess I won't learn it then. Um, I didn't mean to not learn it. I was going to I was going to drop something else for it, but probably not the most can <laughs> I'm just, so in case you guys are wondering, a lot of the time I just hit the A button as I'm running around in areas like this because there's probably items in all of these, not in all of these nooks, but in a lot of the little nooks. So probably not super competitively viable. Um, but I guess any chance to burn someone. Burn got nerfed in this in this generation, I'm, I'm discovering, but... Preschooler Liam. What you got? Anything interesting? Nope, just a Jigglypuff. And one other Pokemon. But probably, probably nothing too, too interesting. And the Ladian goes down as the second Pokemon. And Kung Fu Fu levels up and wants to learn Payback. But he's already got a Dark type move. But I'm super slow, so it probably makes more sense to have Payback than Brutal Swing. Um, 60 base power versus 50 unless I get hit. So actually, no, Payback's not worth learning. Uh, let's keep the old moves. And Liam goes down. And we continue through this maze of death. <laughs> it's so sad. And a super repel over in this corner. 
Uh, and some, we got a trainer there and a grassy area to the left. And I'm going to check out that grassy area and see whether or not there are any unique Pokemon. What's she got? She's got a Comfy. What? Look at how Comfy. Look at this thing. More new Pokemon. What are you? Wait, have I seen Comfy before? That name sounds familiar, but I haven't played in a couple of days, so I, I'm kind of forgetting. Drop an acrobatics on his face. Neutral. Not grass type. Must be fairy. So I'm wrapped. I can't actually switch out. I would. I would have liked to switch out to see. Yeah, it must be fairy. It kind of looks like a fairy. It's got little flowers on it. Um, a lot of the time when they're really floral Pokemon, um, they're fairy type. So, wow. I, have I seen that before? I feel like there was a Pokemon that I, I was unsure about in a previous episode, and I thought it might have been Comfy, but I can't remember. If you touch a Pokemon's icon during a Pokemon battle, it's will detail the information about how they stack up in a battle. I've done that a few times by accident, and I found that... Um, Really good to know. I'm gonna shortcut slot this. Team Skull. Punk girl sounds scary, doesn't it? Please be friendly and call me Punky. Oh, so it's not a Team Skull. It's just a girl who looks... Punk girl Melissa. She's so mad. Okay, so we tuck in here to get this item. Nope, we don't, because I can't do it on the back of a Stoutland. Something's very big. That was one thing about bikes. With bikes, you could always you could go wherever you wanted. Uh, looks like we got like a Team Aether versus Team Skull going on. Low? Don't give me trouble, I'll reduce you to rubble. That's right, we're going to sell this Pokemon to get rich, but we don't make no bones about it. If you want to get it back, you're going to have to take it. Low. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. Oh, man. Mm. Then Geo just comes in. A promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these Team Skull Ruffians. This is actually an English guy. He should have an English accent. I will bestow honor upon you if you do, good sir. You ready? Because I was born ready, yo. Mmm. Tell him. Boss battle. Team battle. Oh no, it's not a team. It's just one-on-one -on -one with a team skull grunt. That's boring. What does he got? Eradicate? That's super boring. I mean, <laughs> I love the Alolan Radicates, though. They just... The cutest things. They're so fat. Look at the chubby little cheeks. I hope I burn him. I might go down if I don't, actually. Oh, no, I just kill him in one shot because Raticate is pure garbage. I, I'm really curious. I haven't actually checked yet to see whether or not their stats are any different than a non-Alolan form. I'm curious to check about that. That loss was pathetic. Your moves are so kinetic. We don't need this Pokemon anyway. Take it then. Good luck and good riddance. We just let him run right by us. We run into the grass. Low? Thanks, kid. There's so many slow bro slow pokes around. I'm deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly astounding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to Hano Grand Resort and I will take you to see a wondrous place. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. So glad nice training trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Thank you. Very kind of you. Very polite. Oh, there's a little area over here if I go to the right. And a grassy knoll for with which to see new Pokemon. Maybe a Comfy? Maybe another Ghastly because it's a dead park and it's just going to be ghosts all over the place. Ghastly down. And an item here. And it looks like if I went to the right, it's an area that I can only drop down from. 
So looking at the map, uh, let's pull up Charizard to get an overhead view of this place. Um, maybe there's a little... If you're looking at the bottom screen, watch my mouse. So we're kind of here. Maybe if we go around... We can't drop... Obviously, that's a drop down. But maybe you have to walk around it up there. So it looks like there's still uh, still room for, for me to go. I really want to check this grass more. So here's actually what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to... There's going to be a lot of battles back to back as I kind of explore this grassy knoll a little more. But I don't want you guys to see me fighting Ghastlies over and over and then telling you, okay, I just fought a Ghastly and then cutting it. So I'm just going to cut all of these battles unless I find something interesting. Just because I think I think that'll be more worth your guys' while. And especially if I'm fighting a bunch of Zubats. So let me just cut this through. If I run into some, I'm going to keep recording. So if I run into something, you guys will still see my reaction. But uh, for now, I'm just going to... I'm just going to murder my way through a bunch of these Pokemon. Yes, a Phantump! Okay, so this isn't a new Pokemon. This is from uh, last generation. But I love Phantump. Phantump is the best. Look at this little guy. He is so cute. Uh, caught a Phantump. What's up? Okay, so... Phantump ended the Pokedex. I'm feeling like... It seems like they're showing me new Pokemon. So I think there are new Pokemon here, probably besides Phantump. Phantump, I'm just going to send to the box, though. I I'm not going to use him. I'm going to continue my quest of trying to evolve and use only the new Pokemon. Asbestos, I can. But we're going to go back to the drawing board and continue battling until we see something new again. All right, so after about 10 battles, uh, we saw a Phantom, but we didn't see anything else other than that Phantom. We haven't seen anything else that we hadn't seen before. So while there is a chance that there's a Pokemon in there that's a 5% uh, catch rate or something like that, 10%, I mean, statistically speaking, if it were a 10% chance of showing up, there, I did meet that um, aspect of that standard that it should have shown up in 10 battles. Maybe it would have showed up. I mean, I know it's 10 battles. That's a 1 in 10 chance. That doesn't mean every single time I will get it within 10 battles. I know how statistics work, but at the same time, I don't want to waste too much more time there. Uh, I don't have a ton of play time. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, uh, so I, I want to get through stuff on my end too. I don't want to be here forever. But one thing we do see is that I hadn't seen a Wingle in the previous grassy area. So knowing that we are now in the um, Akalan Foundation or whatever this area is called, it looks like there's new Pokemon here. So probably in my best interest to do a little observation here too and see if there's any new Pokemon here that I haven't seen before. Okay, so in this grassy area, we've got a nose pass, so that's cool. Nose pass makes it to the decks. <laughs> Get a little EXP to everyone there. Bouncy growing up, very cool, very nice, like that. One thing I'm considering doing is going into the... Um, that's funny. I, I forgot Nose Pass was a Rock type Pokemon. I thought it was a uh, thought it was Steel because Probo Pass is Steel. Okay, so that should be good for now. Um, pretty good chance that it's just Wingles and Nose Passes in in those grass grassy knolls there. So we'll keep moving. Vernon has a star you. And a Gyarados is the second Pokemon, but we take out uh is that was his name Vernon? Vernon. Vernon goes down. Some of my Pokemon are getting pretty weak actually, so hopefully I don't have to be around here too much longer. We got a TM in this corner. And down in the water below. So maybe that's a surfable area? But I'm not 100% sure how I would get there. So we got another trainer battle here. A lot of just... This seems like kind of a grindy zone. It's been... At least it's been feeling kind of grindy. But maybe that's because I've been... I've 
done about 16 Pokemon battles and five trainer battles since since this episode started. So it hasn't really felt like I've done much. So we beat Black Belt Kenji and his Hariyama. We got more grass up here. And there's that Zygarde cube that we saw from across the way. And it looks like we finish up this outskirt zone by... Oh, you're the one Gladium was talking about. Hmm, you don't look like anything special to me. Just another little punk girl. A lot of punk girls here. Plumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all those numbskulls. You've realized what idiots all these guys are, right? Don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute, dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Oh, so she's a... Man, I've been... <laughs> I've actually weakened a lot of my strongest Pokemon just trying to get to where I am, constantly battling. So uh, hopefully she doesn't have too many Pokemon. Maybe just one... Yeah, one or two. So boss fight, Plumeria. And she's got a Golbat. It could be annoying if he's uh, packing... Back in Confuse Ray. Kung Fu Fu will not go very far in this matchup uh, because I am paralyzed and Golbat is fully evolved in the same level as me. And he does have Confuse Ray. So now I'm going, I have to fight through Parafusion just to get even attack off. So there's no way I'm staying in here after this attack goes off. I get through, I, I make it through everything. Uh, and get a good attack off on Golbat, that's good. But I don't want to try and break through Parafusion two more times here. Golbat, I'm assuming he'll have, like, Fure Wind Cutter or something like that. Uh, my team is actually very weak to flying right now. Does Bouncy have anything for him? Not really. Bugnitude does, and uh, isn't weak to flying thanks to his electric typing. So let's let's send in Bugnitude. Air Cutter, neutral. And I should be able to finish him off with a spark. He is going to go first, of course, because Bugnitude is very slow. Bugnitude up to 30. Excellent. One more Mon left in this but in this uh, in this boss battle. Lots of levels there. Leaf Blade on Nips. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of Leafage, because Leafage is uh, as it was explained in one of the comments earlier, basically just Ember. Salandit. Let's go a little pee. I miss my Salandit. I wish it were female. Hers is a female. Spoilers. Uh, he's actually faster than me. I'll resist that, so that shouldn't take me out. And we'll just uh, we'll finish him off with a Scald. Very cool, and uh, and we beat Plumeria and get a lot of money for that vac for that victory. You're pretty strong, I'll give you that. But mess with anyone, Team Skull again, and I'll show you how serious I can get. So serious that you evolve your Pokemon next time. Take that. Nothing like beating Team Skull Num Skulls. Now it's back on track to the ruins of life. So uh, that's what's up here. Do a little sniffing around with uh oh nope it kicked me off and the ruins of life appear to be in there but there's burnett behind us burnett and lily lily got lost again so i brought her here to you lily is honestly helpless she couldn't even find her way to the tide song hotel on her own she said she saw team skull and tried to avoid them that's why she got lost now I gotta go. The Masked Royal the Masked Royal has a match, so there's no way that I'm missing it. So even she knows that the Masked Royal is just Kikui. That Masked Royal. 
What do you think he looks like under that mask? Anyway, oh, never mind. She doesn't know it's Kakui. <laughs> wow, no sooner had I said that than she let me know. I came here for Nebi, though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at poor Stuffle. Let me heal it for you. Oh, nice. Within these ruins waits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. Pew! You! I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict in Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins so important to you? What do these guardians mean to you? Just think, that wouldn't... That would have... <laughs> Just think what would have happened if you, Geo, hadn't been there back then. Pew! Oh, haven't I seen you with Kakui? Ah, uh, yes, my name's Lily. I work at Prof I'm Professor Kakui's assistant, and this is Geo. Oh, sorry, I never even asked my name, your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up these ruins. Geo, thank you for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. What? Lily's just staring off into the distance? No. Walk to the side. Alright then. You've completed the trial of the three captains here on Akala Island. Now face the grand trial of the Kahuna. Me. Get ready for the hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. Okay. Uh, I wasn't super prepared for this to be a battle, but I just got healed. So, looks like we got two boss battles in one episode. Great. We're going to give you everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. So, Rog and Rolla... Rock Gruff, maybe evolved versions of both. Ding, Olivia. This girl got it going on. And Nose Pass, yeah. So Nose Pass, probably uh, Lycan Gruff. And I'm guessing Rog and Rolla or an evolved form of that. So let's start this, off, start this off right with a little Brick Break. Ugh, looks like he's going to take three of them to take out this nose pass, but he got me with a, a, a T wave. And I know from catching the nose pass earlier that uh, he has. Uh, he has rest. So. Ugh, and I got fully parried. Oof. Just barely miss out on the two-hit KO. I'm predicting a rest here. Or a super potion. It's even worse. Because <laughs> he doesn't it doesn't give me a bunch of extra turns of to to react to him here. But one more should take him out. As long as I don't get fully parried. And I do not. So nose pass goes down. Kung Fu Fu does manage to make a dent here. Uh, Boldor, the evolved form of Rog and Rolla. Let's see who I can switch to to, to make this a little a little different. Uh, I could do Bouncy, but Bouncy levels up fast enough because it's a traded Pokemon. So I'm going to go Nips instead. There's Boldor. Boulder Door. Uh, and I've got Razor Leaf here. Oh, I have Leaf Blade also, but I know that his defense is significantly higher than his special defense. Oh, Razor Leaf is also physical. I forgot. So, yeah, let's just go with Leaf Blade here. Oh, no. That's not going to work. And this is going to wreck me because, yep, Boulder actually has really high attack. Let's see what I can do in lieu of that information. Oh, Lil P. Simple solution. Simple solutions for simple trainers. I'm a very simple, <laughs> simple person. He's gonna hit me with a nut of headbutt. That's a headbutt. I got a big forehead. I give a mean headbutt. Pokemon Cypher. Boulder goes down. As I have a little purple rain, purple water. Little pee levels. 34, I'm getting into those early 30s, and I'm feeling like the dirty 30s is when uh, I'm going to evolve. And he does finish off with a Lycanroc. Who wants to take on Lycanroc? Anyone? I'll just leave Lil P in here. He's got counters. I don't really want to be hitting him with uh, physical moves. And a lot of my other guys are physical. He's very fast. Hits really hard. 
He's a cool Pokemon. I really like his design. I'm, I'm curious to see what his IV... Oh, sorry, not his IVs. What his, his base stats kind of look like. I haven't really checked those out much yet. Peckback evolved... Or already evolved, sorry. Uh, tries to learn Screech. Don't really want that. Nips Dings 24. And we get uh, 8,000 for beating the Kahuna. Yes! What did I just say? What did I just say? 34. Yes! Okay, oh my god. I hope it has a really cool design. I'm done with this kind of adolescent looking one. I'm looking for like a like a big cool maybe he's balancing like a ball on his nose or something. Whoa, okay. Pre Marina? <gasps> Lil P makes sense again! <laughs> Lil P makes sense again because it's called Pre Marina. And it has... <laughs> That's a really cool name. Pre Marina. So it's like a prima donna, but Marina. Great pun. That is an awesome looking Pokemon. That is so cool. And uh, I suspected earlier on that maybe this was a, a part fairy type. So let's see if it does gain something in its last level. Oh, it's a mermaid. That's so cool. Please. Please be part fairy. Yes! It's part fairy too! It's water fairy! I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Water Fairy is one of my favorite dual typing and the only Pokemon that gets it right now is Azumarill. And I'm so happy that we got another one. This is the best news. Primarina, Water Fairy. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Its singing voice is its chief weapon in battle. This Pokemon trainer must, or this Pokemon trainer must prioritize the daily maintenance of its throat at all costs. That's interesting. It's an interesting thing to say. And it wants to learn a move right away. And that move is Sparkling Aria. Oh, I'm so excited. What move is this? New move. Who dis? Water type. 90 base power. The user bursts into song, emitting many bubbles. Any Pokemon suffering from a burn will be healed by the touch of these bubbles. Interesting. Why would you... Why would you want to heal... The opposing Pokemon? I mean, or why would you attack your own Pokemon just to heal its burn? I mean, it's still... It's super powerful. I mean, it's stronger than Scald. And Scald's a TM. I can always teach it back. I want to see this move in action. I wonder if it's more of a drawback or a help to teach it Sparkling Aria, though. It's interesting. It's an interesting thought. I mean, there's still Surf, right? I'm assuming Surf is still in this game. Although, without the HMs, who knows? Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, true. You guys are the best. Here. Rocky MZ. We got him. Rock him. So we're moving on up. Normal rock fighting and the RWG. And the grand trial is completed, which means we're pretty much finished with this island. I think. Is there any side directions that we couldn't go earlier? Careful, the hip movement is crucial. Oh, because she's got a rock and bod. Is that supposed to be the joke? Show me the hip movement. Nope. Getting a real deep lunge. Real deep. Oh, she's got a girl crush on Olivia. Use it well. The rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. That's funny. Pew! <laughs> you look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the ruins of life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby, it's not originally from here and I wanted to help it back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find some clue to help it. You certainly don't see Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs. Unless they're strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Pew? 
Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Except that you're not giving it a hand, because that's where it wanted to go. Way, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Howe from Iki Town. You've got to let me battle you. Oh, hey, Geo, guess what? The weird green guy from Aether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finished up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Ooh, the Aether Foundation? I'm not sure what he wants with you, Geo, but why not go find out? If you want, if you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Resort lies n just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. Oh, that that's right. That guy on the, um... The guy on top of the Stoutland wouldn't let me through earlier. Hmm. So how is just one step behind me and they're doing a little battle now. You like the Grand Resort, right? The famous resort in Alola. Okay. I really want to go into this Ruins of Life. So I'm going to step in here. And it looks like a bunch of boxes that unfortunately I can't push around. Uh, Ruins of Life. So let's add that to the list of boxes big rock places that we can't do. Ruins of Life, which is on Akala. Ten Carat Hill is on Melee Melee. Diglett Tunnel is on Akala. Very cool. So uh, I suppose that means we are done here. We're all done. We're going to fly to Hia Hia City, and that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and check out the next episode. We'll be going live as soon as I'm done editing and uploading this one. I'll record the next one. We're still going, guys. It's still early. It's 3.30, and I got the whole day off, and I don't have to be home for Thanksgiving until tomorrow. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.